In these tutorials, I haven't really talked very much about design. Uh, that's really outside of the scope of what we're doing um, in, in this set of tutorials. Uh, usually when you are implementing a site uh, in, in the kind of default standard uh, way that this gets done, you get handed a, a set of graphical comps from the designer, which have a fairly detailed layout and, and have all the graphical elements that you can then slice from the PSDs if they're provided as Photoshop documents. Um, and then go from there to coding it in CSS and HTML or, or whatever else needs to happen. And that's the pretty standard way to do it. Um, if you're a one-man show or if you're kind of crossing over, um, and in many case, uh, many other cases now, um, people are kind of designing within the browser. Um, and so we're doing a little bit something a little bit closer to that, partially because it's a, a very straightforward site. It's a you might call it a brochureware site um, for a nonprofit, and they just need some sort of a, 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 a footprint on the web so that they have a place that people can go and learn more about them. So it's a pretty straightforward site. We're going to be implementing it in WordPress so that they they are able to easily change the content over time. So it's not a basic HTML site that we could do. Um, in a static form, but in many cases, that's a takes a slightly more time in terms of design and implementation, but um, it's a much better product for the client. So I have from the client some of the text and some of the content that they want to appear, um, and basically I went to the back of a napkin and and sketched something out. It's not pretty, but you know I have a, a header with their logo and and a, a slight you know who we are, what we're about, and some. Uh, a, a menu across the top and then a, an image slider and frankly I'm not quite sure how I'm going to implement this yet whether it needs to be one big image with text on it which I'd rather avoid or whether I can um, maybe tweak it a little bit so that I can do a slider that includes text and, and an image in one um, and then three columns that are just kind of a basic introduction to what they do and um, a donate button and maybe a a sign up button for uh, a newsletter. I also have a contact form here that's going to be a drop down contact form. So I've got some basic idea of what I want the front page to look like and then what the interior page looks like with two columns of text and on a side image and the same header and um, the first paragraph a little bit large uh, just so it kind of echoes the front a little bit. Um, so I might, this is a very abbreviated set, but if I were doing this for reals, um, I might have a long set of of um, assets that is in many cases for something like this uh, mostly um, issues of images that I'm going to be using to present although um, you know there may be some textual elements here as well um, I have from the client already a logo that she wants to use um, that's kind of her trademark logo and uh, you know I have just dummied up some so, uh, a number of icons that I can use um, they may work out actually but um, I don't want to actually flesh them out completely until I see them in the site itself and once I do that th there's a good chance I'll have to go back to the editor and and kind of re reconfigure those images I've also kind of pulled done what you normally do with the an image uh, a photographic image the background is fairly distracting and so I kind of pulled some of these to pop it with some uh, with a with a uh, gradient in the background well again I'll probably have to tweak these once I actually see them in the layout I'm gonna be using I think I mentioned WordPress to do this and I'm gonna be using something called a theme framework which is not just a theme called thematic, but also um, the ability to tweak that theme using something called child themes. We'll talk a little bit more about that. I'm probably going to use something called the Nevo slider for that front page slider, and I'll probably kind of be, I think I pointed some of you to this already when we talked about jQuery, um, using something uh, going along this tutorial somewhat at least. I'm going to depart from it a bit um, for doing that drop down contact form. So that gives me the kind of the basic things that I'm going to be using for the site and um, the next step is to install WordPress and uh, and uh, install and activate the theme framework thematic and show you how to create a child theme and we'll do that um, as we move forward.